good evening and uh, tonight we actually want to start a series of uh, 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 topics uh, on the VPC but uh, from tonight we want to start from lab architecture standpoint and uh, so and uh, from the lab we can uh, do some uh, answer within the AWS management console. We have uh, one of our previous video has actually done an elaborate explanations on what uh, VPC is all about within the, the AWS infrastructure. But uh, tonight, uh, this concept of our labs, or our hands on, we'll be looking at. Uh, uh, different concepts around uh, around uh, the VPC itself, how how that is done within the AWS uh, management console. We want to look at the concept of creating subnet. We want to see we we'll try our hands on Internet Gateway, as well as uh, doing a bit of uh, work on root table. So, uh, but uh, for the purpose of this uh, architectural drawing, uh, the whole idea is actually to create, is actually to, um, is actually to create VPC with single with single public subnet so that's the the topic we want to explore almost immediately this evening and uh, let's see how that will go so uh, let me make this uh, different style adding four let me change the colors So, so uh, before we do our drawing, before we go for with our drawing, let's see. Let's look at some of the steps that uh, we need to do to be able to uh, do these steps. So step one, Step one. So step one, we are to uh, log on to AWS Management Console. So <coughs> go to VPC domain. and create a new VPC. Uh, let's use this IP address for 10.0.0.0 slash 16. <sighs> Next, we want to see, uh, after this, we want to also create an internet gateway. 
want to create an internet gateway we want to uh, attach attach our internet gateway to dvpc for we want to for we want to create for we want to create root table After that, we want to add root table. We want to add root table. We want to add root in the root table. And at the same time, and associate it with public. public subnet we also want to uh, this will not be complete without launching without the launch of an EC2 instance using the enabled public IP address in public subnet and the last step would be to connect to the EC2 instance so these are some of the steps we need to be looking at this evening and um, the public subnet so this is the steps we are taking and now let's start with the drawing with the lab architectural drawing so the first thing is we want to do this within uh, um, is to determine our availability zone so let's get availability zone symbol don't forget we are using a two call drive to be to for our drawing so let's take this symbol as our availability zone um, right here let's get it expanded because some of those things will be coming here so let's choose let's go for us east one one very quickly our us let's log into aws management console and see so east us east is in the north uh virginia but let's go to canada central and uh, for canada central let's launch this in uh, Canada Central One US East One is not Virginia, so let's do because I'm in Canada, let's learn from CA Central One. Let's learn from CA CA Central One. Is that correct? Yeah, CA Central One. So that's the availability zone we are 
launching from and uh, let's see the next thing is uh, for us to get uh let's get a symbol of a fee pc um yeah, so let's get a free pc symbol this should be good so yeah within the free pc so we can have this don't forget our ip address could be um so let's get the testing there our ip address is 10.0 we're launching we're creating from 10.0.0.16 build so let's do this okay now we have these and um, we want to connect these also to uh, a subnet um, we need to add a uh, we're doing an internet gateway so the next thing we want to do was uh, to create an internet gateway gateway so internet gateway this is the symbol for internet gateway and we can have it here uh, so yeah our internet gateway is being connected here and we have something also that we need to do what are we doing next we also want to um uh, create don't forget we need to create a i think we need something in our step our step two our step two should have been let's quickly correct that our step two should have been create also after our step three rather pardon me our step three should be to create a new subnet subnet using the 10 dot 0 dot 1 dot 0 24 power of 2 so in that case uh before we even do anything with the internet gateway we have to deal with subnets let's grab the symbol of a subnet so here is a symbol of a subnet uh we have this let's get this yeah this is good so subnet is coming within our free pc let's get some of this thing expanded a bit more so that like our drawing could be um the, don't forget this is to come here my internet gateway is here subnet is here um So subnet. Let's take this out. So subnet. Don't worry. Well, it needs to be locked. Mm, let's do this. Um. So let's take make use of this. We have a public subnet here, so 
The only thing is, let's rename this. We know it's a public subnet, but nevertheless, let's just leave it as a, as a subnet. We can easily rename Dryo as a two. It's a very friendly two. Now let's let's change the color. Let's see. Can we use this? Yeah. This look good, yeah. So now let's bring in our VPC. Prompto, yeah. So our subnet now, don't forget our, uh, we have the central, we have, uh, let's expand our VPC a bit. Yeah, okay, this look like it. Don't forget we have the IP address for the for the PVC here. Then we have a subnet IP address also. Uh, let's do this. Uh, subnet IP address is uh, we are doing ten dot zero dot one dot zero twenty four. So. Let's take it prompt. So we have the Internet Gateway uh, GW. Let's put this, let's label this. Um, where is the best place? Let's put it somewhere. Good, look like it. Let's separate this. So there's one more thing we need to do. VPC is here, central, US central is here. Um, availability zone is there. So we still need, uh, another step we are looking at is to now the, yeah, we have the internet gateway. Uh, we have the subnet. Then we need to do something called route table. So, uh, root, root table because we also, Going to create a root table. Do we have another symbol? Let's use this as our root table symbol. So let's do this. Um, uh, so so. AWS root table is the same. Let's see whether we can get something better. Something editable. So. Table should be. I think I should have uh, a public. Uh, let's see what I can get the symbol from. Uh, open with. So, where we are, uh, this root table, as we will be editing subsequently as we go into this but let's do something also something sort of important we have to have we need to have the region symbol to this so should we change 
which one should we use let's use this because this is a symbol for 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 AWS so let's take this off and make use of this region signal symbol unfortunately our our former so again let's learn let's add this type to test to this uh, so we said this is ca canada central one right i think this is our we said let's make use of this region let's put it there so yeah we are goes to heat so yes we have done we have we have draw the uh, symbol of pc within the region we have uh, done the subnet internet gateway is done so what else do we need to do at this time is don't forget we also want to uh, launch an ec2 instance and for us to launch an EC2 instance, uh, we need to connect this to the internet. So let's grab the internet symbol. So this goes to. Internet cloud. Uh, this more like it let's put this internet is our internet and uh, yeah getting then we need a user um so the what of the management console so we're looking for console It should be okay so we also need the user user at the end at the other side of so the console so 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 uh, definitely somebody with the key So we need this. Somebody that have the key, and um, yeah, uh, let's see. From here, so So our internet is being connected here, yeah, right here. So internet. So yeah. Yeah, we this is where we are, and uh, this is our yeah looks like it. So we have the region, we have this, and uh, we have our PVC. So which is called the hack the texture diagram for virtual private 
cloud so this is our first drawing and i'll be making um we'll be making improvement to this drawing as we expand our scope of our hands-on's uh, application uh, our hands-on exercise so uh i will stop at this point and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video